everybody. This is Hyper India uh, with another two, well, a video of two of our clan wars. We won both of them. Yep. Uh, so, good job. Thumbs up. Um, Here's the first one. We're going to go over four attacks. Uh, those four attacks uh, are all have uh, dark troops in them. So, at this point, I'd say our clan is a... Uh, we haven't mastered the dragon attack at like the town hall seven level, but but we're doing really well with it, as evidenced by the percent destruction you can see here. So if we look at the details of uh, this is our first war over uh, this lovely Memorial Day weekend, um, and you can see uh, we had ninety nine point four seven total percent total destruction. Um, we missed that last point five three destruction due to. Uh, me Running so out of my, time. i apologize Didn't sorry guys i ran out of attacking power oh. let's put it that way so anyways i had i had three opportunities this weekend to get us perfect wars i failed on all three so. <laughs> anyways uh but overall this is an awesome war and uh, our our dragon attacks are looking really great so i'm moving on now to uh so show you guys some dark uh, elixir attacks so this is gonna these so... videos are all gonna come from from our top four players so we're going to show three attacks using golems and one that you can do at Town Hall 7 just using hog riders. Yep. So, in fact, let's start off with the DF4 attack against uh, Heart Heart Love. And this is in our first war this weekend versus, uh, I don't know, some clan. Uh, it looks like that's in Arabic. So, anyways, I start off... Uh, with luring out the dragon because dragons will completely eviscerate your hog riders eviscerate yes eviscerate that's a that's a, that's a big boy word um so uh so instead of letting my hog riders get eviscerated by the dragon i eviscerate it with my archers archers minions uh they pretty much own dragons so uh now the next step in my attack is I drop one giant down. I do that to test to see if there's going to be any uh, uh, double giant bombs there. And then I drop a whole ton of hogs. I brought with me 34 hogs, including four maxed hogs. And the reason I decided that this base was really hoggable, and notice how I'm putting those spells down. That's really uh, an important part of a hog attack. I'm using heal spells, heal spells, plus hogs equals awesome. So, no rage spells. Yeah, no rage spells on it's hogs. It's too important to yeah. keep them alive. You just want to keep them alive till the end of the attack. So, um, the reason I decided to... to uh, ooh, that was a nasty giant bomb there. Um, the reason I decided this was a good base to uh, hog is that um, his he had all these little tight compartments, like uh, the ones above the uh, clan castle. And... Uh, hog riders would be perfect for just uh, taking those out, and there were no spaces within where his defenses were that I was concerned except for about. The one the, in the bottom right. Yeah, except that I was really concerned about the giant bombs. In fact, I had them. That's kind of the main thing you want to look for on hog rider bases, as you can see. See, there's one right there at the bottom, but that at that point it doesn't matter. I'm going to yeah. win anyway because I have my cleanup troops on the board. I have my goblins and my archers. When I do hog rider attacks on a bases like this, I bring a ton of hogs but then uh, and then enough troops like archers to to get rid of the enemy clan castle and to uh do cleanup so um hyper what were you saying um, about the awesomeness of hog attacks so when you're looking for doing a hog attack you want to see look inside the walls and you want to look for two by two or bigger yeah. open spaces where there can be giant bombs yeah. the only place inside the base was right where that the bottom, bottom group of hog yeah. riders was and there wasn't even a giant bomb there yeah. so, but you need to make sure also that they're not going to be around the sides like how df put a giant down you can also put a hog rider it's the same thing yeah. they both go for defenses and um our five housing space yep yeah. Alrighty, and the second attack uh, we're going to show from this war is, is uh, TJ's uh, attack. Uh, and TJ uh, had another awesome weekend attacking. Um, 12 stars and, and once again, this is another base that if the second I saw this, I would say, oh, hog, hog riders. riders. Because I don't see any place where his defenses are. 
where there could be uh, uh, a um, giant bomb. So TJ uh, takes care of the dragon with a poison spell and wizards. Now this isn't a regular hog attack. This is... He's using a, a goho. Which... I don't really know why he's doing the goho if you drew out the clan castle. Because well, he didn't have to, but I, I I do like to draw out the clan castle when I do goho. Um, j sometimes, if if it's very easily lurable. See that? Yeah. I mean, the clan castle was so easy at the bottom; it almost doesn't make sense not to, to lure it. Yeah. It would so be harder. so this is an interesting strategy. What he does is he has all the defenses are, are focused in on the golems uh, up at the top right now. Um, and what he does is he drops his hogs down on the backside. So um, his while the other defenses are, are focused on the golems over here, he drops his hogs on the other side. Um, and the hogs go through this base like hot butter. Um, and TJ really does a great job of being patient with his spells. Um, I'm I'm not quite as good as at that. Neither am I. We uh, were talking about yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> we get too paranoid about our troops are gonna die. Yeah. And we place them down, especially with things like giants and hog riders. You can wait till they're almost about to die because the heal spell is long enough and regenerates enough health that it can easily fill up their life back to the top. Let's see, yeah, there's he TJ just ran into what is essentially the biggest problem if you're doing a hog attack. Definitely. Uh, the the giant bomb. Um, How did he not run out of time? Oh, he's got lots of troops left. Uh, he has yeah, a minute. He, he's got king. a barb king. He's got two golems. Uh, and yeah, he's well, got, the golems aren't going to do anything. He's so. got a wizard up here at the top. So he still had lots of lots of troops left. And, you know, the burger king can do lot, lots of damage. Uh, Especially oh. against ones that are seven levels lower than him. Yeah. Um, and he got kind of unlucky with those giant bombs down there at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up. As we know what the outcome is going to be at this point. So another great attack for TJ. And uh, the, the Go Hog is one of those strategies that uh, you, st you can start use at, at Town Hall 8. And it's... Um, you know, really w one of the best strategies for Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9. Uh, so there's things that everybody, you know, a lot. we have a lot of Town Hall 7s. So those are things you can look forward to when you make it up to, to Town Hall 9. Mainly oh. golems. Golems yeah. are Golem the big thing yeah. you need to get there. So uh, now this is from our second war over the weekend, and we won 44-43. It was awesome, and we've got two more attacks that we're going to show in this one. First one is... Hyper Muffin yeah. versus Bloodlust. Uh, Bloodlust's lust for blood got him wrecked. So, Hyper Muffin, talk us through this. So, the strategy I'm doing, hold on, if you pause it. The strategy I'm doing is a Gova Ho, which is Golems, Valkyries, or Gova Wipe, I'm sorry. Golems, Valkyries, Wizards, and Pekas. And what I did here is I put in the two golems down. You can turn it down. Yep. I put in the two golems down at the bottom. One thing I could have done better is spacing out your golems. It helps um, so that your wizards cover more of an area and you have more of a place to uh, vent in your troops. Then I put wizards around the edges to get rid of the troops or get rid of the buildings so that my Pekka's, Valkyries, and Barb Kings could vent into the middle. And I also have some wizards in there. Then I'm dropping down, you know, some spells while the golems and the barb king and pekas are taking um are taking all the. <laughs> you just dropped your second pe the 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 pekka in the clan yeah, castle. Yeah, I forgot yep. about it. I no. just <laughs> taking all the. I didn't even need it. Yep, you didn't. Uh, taking all the. <laughs> that pekka just pekas one shotted like a wizard tower. By the yeah. way, the pekas are like almost as good tank as a golem. They're, yeah. they're pretty crazy. So. You know, this was obviously going to be an easy attack because it was a Town Hall 7, uh, and he had a pretty bad base, too. Um, and, you know, with the friendly challenge, I've gotten a lot better with at my attacking power, mm -hmm. especially going to Town Hall 8, getting new...
Pekka, Pekka's and Golems and Valkyries are all really good troops that you're going to want. Yep, and you can see the power of them right now. So the the Golems are just sitting there absorbing all the damage of yeah, that cannon really at the good. bottom. Yeah. And they, they eventually killed the cannon, but it took them a while. Whereas the Valkyrie is, is running fast, uh, destroying pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, the, the Valkyrie the, saved me in this attack. I would have yeah. ran out of time, but... Watch her. Here, watch her just... Valkyrie. So... Once you get up to Town Hall 8, you'll have access to these new and improved Val Valkyries. And um, I I'm using them at Town Hall 9 to com just completely wreck uh, Town Hall 9 bases that are, so are pretty advanced. So. These Golem attacks that you can do at Town Hall 8, um, they're, they can be a lot more complicated than the Dragon attacks and things like that. So if you want to be able to do these... You can always do friendly battles and just try and figure out how to do. You can ask like me, TJ, DF, somebody like that for advice, and you can most importantly watch the videos. Yeah, yeah, for definitely. Us to show you how to yep. do that. It does take some time to get used to how to use your golems yeah. most effectively. You just um, need to really know know how to do each attack. Yeah, and you'll be able to do it pretty quick. All right, and now the last attack we're going to show is Plasma's attack number one on Corpse, Corpse Grinder. Um, this is a violent clan here. They're corpse grinding. They're bloodlusting. Also, you don't need to draw out the clan castle as much. Yeah. So if you forget. So once again, I looked at took one look at this base, and I said, oh, hog riders. So I dropped one. Because there's no spaces in the middle, really, there's for their be one. There's, like, one space. But that really didn't make a lot of sense for it to be uh, it was a, a Tesla, I giant think. bomb. So, um, I poison the dragon, take it out with some archers. Look nice and easy. If I drop my hog riders, once again, if you drop your hog riders and there's a dragon or wizards in the clan castle, you're in big trouble. So, um, I put down... Uh, I actually run into uh, a giant bomb down there at the, at the uh, the bottom there on the right side. Um, it doesn't really matter. I have um, the base just wasn't designed well enough for uh, to defend against uh, hog attacks. So yeah, the the one spot I was worried about wound up being a uh, a hidden Tesla. In fact, yeah, I don't think that could have that could have been one giant bomb. It couldn't have been a double one. I'm concerned so about double giant survived. bombs. Yeah. Um, and I think I might have waited. At, no, there you go. I put my heal spell down probably a little bit too early, but eh, that's par for the course for DF. Uh, and at this point there, I don't, there's a, there's a two Teslas, a wizard tower and a cannon left. And I start circling the base with my archers. Look at this. Uh, and I have my archer queen, barbarian king. Uh, a few hog riders left. I don't know if any of them actually survived, but uh, I'll see if they can take out that barb king up at the top. Go, go, hogs, go! No. Uh, yeah, the skeleton. archers will get it. Yeah, the skeleton trap is also kind of a major problem for hogs. So. Um, they don't do that much damage. No, but they, they can be work. kind of a pain, and they just sit there and hack on your hog riders until they're eventually dead. Um, but I had lots of troops for cleanup, even though none of my hogs survived. I had my Archer Queen, I had my Barb King, and uh, this was a, another, uh, you know, a good base for using hog riders. So this is, which really the, the, the takeaway from this is, is to learn which bases uh, you can use hog riders on. Uh, these are the ones where that are really compact like this, where you don't have uh, two by two or two by yeah. four spaces where the uh the person could hold a uh giant bomb or double giant bomb um and also like how to use uh golems and valkyries um this is you know hyper muffin had a really good example of how to use his valkyries uh it was a base that where uh he had to break into the center and then once the, and he's in the center the pekkas and the valkyries can just uh, slice things up i so. posted a few replays of um just on the chat of some of the other ones i've done that might be a little cooler to watch because, you know, it's not a Town Hall 7 that has a weird base that I'm just sort of, like, going all over the place. And it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll post another yeah. one. Like. Anyways, in the future, you'll be able to use hogs, golems, and Valkyries. This is, this is incentive Pekka's. for... 
pacas for for uh eventually eventually once you've but don't rush don't your rush yeah that's what i was just gonna say don't rush your troops make sure you upgrade all your troops uh nice and in a nice and if you're orderly gonna manner. rush your base at least r don't rush your troops yeah because you have to not rush your troops yeah period mm -hmm. so all right that's it df out another great Head job these guys all right